patients have come up with all kinds of um, attempts to try to explain why we have this, this big, huge, missing bunch of, of sediment. One argument is that the missing sediment were the sediments that were laid down between the uh, fall and the flood. And then here they, you know, they, were, they were tilted up because of the water from underneath the river and all that, uh, causing the, uh, the, the strata to tilt. And then when the flood came in, it just ripped the heck out of it and left this nice layer. Of course, why it left those tilted strata someplace and why it didn't just clear off the whole shoot mesh everywhere on the planet doesn't work here. So they have come up with some other possible explanations. Uh, one being that um, this is the created rock. Those tilted um, strata were actually laid down very early as the floodwaters uh, receded. But then in some sort of a secondary cataclysm, they were tilted. And um, in this part of the Colorado um, Plateau, but again, it happens elsewhere in the planet as well. Um, there was this large uh, body of water that, that scraped it off, sort of a you know, secondary little mini flood, as it were. And then the rest of the strata that you can see was, was piled up on top. So, you know, basically what we see with the great unconformity as well as virtually all the other creationist arguments is an idea of what happened, which is inspired by the literal reading of Genesis. And then the effort to try to shape the data, shape the observations, in order to fit that model and present it as a scientific view. But as we talked about before, it's not a scientific view if you just focus on the things that support your argument and totally ignore all of the observations that disprove or are very difficult to fit into your argument. So here we have another situation. This is the great unconformity is real. And standard geology can explain it using principles that we understand from looking at geological processes elsewhere around the planet and elsewhere from time. The creationist model doesn't do a very good job of explaining it uh, because it leaves too many gaps in our understanding. 